I don't have an emotional investment in making you happy. I want you to know the truth. The truth will set you free, then you will be truly happy. I don't have to make you happy. The truth itself will have the effect of creating your own happiness. That's the truth. If we grow. Okay. Yeah. Go. Uh, I'm willing to, uh, to listen to this mm -hmm. and uh, presentation. Uh, the thing like this, why I thought I was, it was because I knew things that I, that I can't. That you didn't learn. Yes. You, learned, you knew things you didn't learn. This, uh, experience in my family. Yes. That's why I thought. And from a very young age. For you, yes. it's younger than five years of age, yes? Yeah, I, yes. I've uh, known things that no one can explain. Yep. Uh, so that's why I thought it was. What could that be? If, well, if you explain that, maybe I, because I'm, I'm buying some other explanation. I, I agree. This is the thing is that, you see, if we understand the full truth of what's going on, it should answer every question satisfactorily and logically. That's the beauty of truth. The truth has the effect of answering questions right across the board in every case. Falsehood does not have that effect. Falsehood has the effect of not being able to answer certain questions. And therefore we need to get more truth. And once we get more truth, we can answer every question possible. That's the reality. There is an answer to your question. Right? But we need to understand the process of what actually happens, and then we can start addressing the issue of what doesn't happen. <laughs> Does that make sense to everyone? So, so you see, on the earth, as I said at the beginning of the discussion yesterday, on the earth there is this higher desire for most of us to absorb things that are spiritually, spiritually speaking, that appeal to us emotionally. We like what we hear and so we save it and keep it with us. That's how 1.5 billion people on the planet believe in Christianity when many of you don't. That's also how another 1.5 billion people on the planet believe in the Muslim faith and you, many of you don't. How it happens is by having an emotional openness to a certain type of belief that you are then unwilling to challenge that you're unwilling to actually work your way through and challenge. And what I'm suggesting is that it's far better to actually challenge every belief in every way possible. And when we challenge beliefs, we end up with what can only be truth. This is how the scientific community works every single day. They challenge different things through experimentation and in the end they arrive at a particular truth that they know for certain. This is how we have power here right now, because somebody 150, 200 years ago did that. Right? And then somebody worked out about what's called alternating power, and Tesla did that. And he did that in the 19, early, late 1800s. And now we have alternating power that can be transmitted over long distances. Now all of that happened because somebody was willing to actually absorb a new truth that they didn't know before. And what I'm saying to you is that what I'm speaking to you about is the truth. Now, you don't have to agree with me. I'm not asking you to agree with me. The whole, I make free presentations so that you don't even have to agree with me and you can come in and, and you can do whatever you like generally as long as you're loving in the presentation and leave and you don't have to agree with the single word I said. Right? And there's no skin off your nose, as the saying goes, <laughs> for doing so. You, you know, Aside from the loss of your time, that's the only thing that you've lost. Right? For myself, um, I feel that that is a, a very worthy cause. That's my personal opinion. Because, because we, we're given the free will to make these decisions through this, through this process. What I'm saying to you is, I know for certain the truth about the entire spirit world as it's currently known through my personal experience. Now you might think that's arrogant, but it, it is arrogant if it's not true. Do you understand? So if I'm saying to you, look, I've had this personal experience of this entire spirit world that I want to describe to you, and I am not truthful with you, I'm telling you a lie, then that is arrogant as well, isn't it? Because I'm saying something that never really happened. Yes? I'm lying to you and I'd be arrogant. But there is the potential 
that what I'm saying to you is actually true. That I have actually had that personal experience and remember it and can describe it to you in detail if you wish to hear it. Mm -hmm. right? That is also the potential truth that is up to you <laughs> to investigate. Does that make sense? If you wish to. You, know, you don't have to. You, if it's only if you wish to. Now in that experience we can uh, answer many of your questions, if not all of them. Okay? However, to do so, we have to be open to understanding the basics of that truth. 